much of the research here in the School of Chemistry at the University of Birmingham is highly interdisciplinary with collaborations within the school, with other departments in the university and in fact worldwide. A key area of our research is in designing new materials and that includes new materials for drug delivery, new biopolymers with designs inspired by nature and even new materials for batteries. My research is about taking inspiration from nature to create advanced materials. So if you think about the structural diversity and the function that is present in natural systems, it's really impressive. We can think about a molecule like DNA, which is capable of some really amazing things on a structural level. And so what we can think about doing is either taking a molecule of DNA and trying to integrate it into a material, or we can think about taking the crucial parts out of that molecule and transplanting them into a material. And the way that we do that is using advanced polymerization techniques, and we then self-assemble those polymers into nano-sized objects, which then form the basis of these advanced materials. Um, and those materials have lots of potential applications in really important areas like drug delivery, so making drug molecules reach the place they need to be in the body. We can also think about applications in catalysis, so making tiny reactors that make particular molecules of high value, and other applications such as energy storage um, and energy generation. With the uh, drive for new all-electric cars, there's an important need for high power lithium ion batteries and in terms of these batteries our research is targeted in improving all the materials in these batteries in order to give them higher energy density and make them safer. The lithium ion batteries work by reversibly shuttling lithiums so in charging the battery we would take lithiums out of the cathode and insert it into our anode and then as we discharge the battery we would move the lithiums back. One of the issues though is if you try to remove too much lithium you can get structure collapse and this leads to a significant decrease in the performance of your battery. So one of the things we're trying to do is prepare more stable structures so we can remove and reintercalate more lithium and hence get higher power. I'm fundamentally a scientist who wants to make new materials that have function in order to improve the performance, sustainability and ecological impact of everyday items that we use. To this end, my group, in collaboration with Dr. Alex Robinson in the School of Chemical Engineering, have discovered an amazing new class of organic material that we have called the triphenoxazoles. These materials have the potential to make more efficient photovoltaics and light emitting diode materials, and thus enabling a reduction in the use of fossil fuels. They are quite a unique group of materials as they fluoresce, photoconduct, and are liquid crystalline all at the same time. This unique set of properties led us to spin out a company called Chromatwist. This company will literally focus on modifying these materials into biological probes for use in biomedical imaging and for use as security inks. And as a longer term ambition, we will develop these materials for use as organic photovoltaics and light emitting diodes.